Good morning. God bless you. Welcome to our devotional entitled Regeneration Through the Power of Jesus Christ. As we go to the Word of God this morning, we're in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 13. As we look at the regeneration power of Jesus and how through His blood we become born again. And it's expressed in testimony through water baptism. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the power of Jesus Christ, the ability to regenerate us, change us, conform us, transform us. And we thank you for the regenerating power of Christ, for in him alone are we saved and through his blood. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, this morning it is a privilege to tell you water baptism does not save us, but the blood of Jesus Christ saves us, and water baptism is an expression, a testimony of the regenerating power of Jesus Christ. So as you go into the Bible this morning and look in Romans chapter 10, the scripture tells us that we're saved through the blood of Jesus. Well, the Bible tells us in Romans 10, 9 through 13, that if we confess with our mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in our heart that God had raised him from the dead, we shall be saved, saved from destruction and death spiritually. The Bible goes on to say in Romans 10, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth man confesses and is made unto salvation. Whoever believes on him should not be ashamed. And verse 12 tells us, for there is neither no difference between Jews and Greek. God's no respect to person. For the same Lord is over all, rich unto all, rich to all of us that call upon his name. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, the Bible says, shall be saved. Saved from what? Saved from spiritual death. Matthew 26, 28 tells us, for this is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Water does not save you. It's the blood of Jesus that saves you in Jesus alone. If you confess in your heart, heart and believe in your mouth, thou shalt be saved. That God had raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. John 3.16 tells us clearly that God so loved the world that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent not his son in the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might find everlasting life. Ephesians 1 7 goes on to tell us, in whom we have redemption through his blood. It's through his blood we've been regenerated. And the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. The blood regenerates us, and water baptism is just a testimony of the regenerating power of Jesus Christ. And the Bible teaches us that salvation is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. Romans chapter 4, verse 4, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, and Titus chapter 3, verse 5. Water baptism is a symbol of one's identification, and the identification from life death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus tells us in Matthew 28, 19, go into all the world, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the earth. Mark chapter 1, verse 9 tells us, in those, Jesus, in those days Jesus came, Jesus from Nazareth to Galilee, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw, the Bible says, heaven open, and the Spirit descending like a dove, and, and there is a voice that spoke from heaven, Thou art my Son, my Son, in whom I'm well pleased. Acts chapter 8, verse 36 to 38 tells us, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain place, and the eunuch asked, Is there a place where I can get water baptized? In verse 37. And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you can be water baptized. I believe, he says, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that's the qualifications to be water baptized. And anyone ever tells you that water, water baptism saves you is a lie. It's Jesus Christ's blood that saves you, and water baptism is an expression of that. We thank God for the doctrine 
of water baptism. The Lord bless you, keep you today. Remember, nobody would ever love you like Jesus Christ.